I want to be here today so my little sister can get help. She stays out all night. She smokes weed. She drinks. She likes to party all the time. She doesn't go to school. My mom got to take care of her two-year-old daughter. And my mom's getting old. She can't take care of her daughter. And my sister don't come home sometimes. So all she do is want to drink and party and stuff. And that's not going to raise her child. And it's just putting my mama through a lot of heartache. Uh, Steve, can you please help my sister? Because she really needs help. Bonnie, that's your sister on the tape talking about what you're doing. How, do, how does that make you feel hearing your sister say that? It hurts me a lot. It hurts me a lot. So I gotta ask, why why are you doing those things? <laughs> because um I don't I don't know, it's just hard for me to be a mom at such a young age. And You're seventeen now and when did you become a mother? I became a mom at fourteen. I didn't finish school. I started doing drugs. I started drinking every night. It turned into a habit. Smoking weed, cocaine. Who, who is raising your daughter? My mom. Your mom is raising her. How is it that your mom wasn't there for you, but she's there for your daughter? She don't, well, because she don't do nothing. My mom don't really do anything for me. My mom don't do nothing for me but watch my daughter. That's why I'm here, Steve. I'm, here to tell my mom, my sister something. Um, I've been holding it back for a long time, but now I think it's time that they should know um, that I've been prostituting myself, that I've been selling drugs. I was making about 500 a night, 600. 500, 600 a night. And what are you doing with all that money? Getting my daughter diapers, her shoes, the are coat. You, are you buying any drugs with that money? No, I had put myself in rehab to stop doing crack cocaine. So I haven't did that in a long, like two months now. And you did that on your own. <laughs> but doesn't your mom say, hey, you're not going to school. You're, you're, you're not doing anything. Where are you getting the money from? No, she never asked. She never cares to ask. Does she ever ask where you're at? You're at? Like, you no. didn't come home. You're out two, three, four o'clock in the morning. She ever noticed that you're not in bed? No. I'm here today because I want to tell her my secret and I want to tell her how I actually feel about her. How you doing, Charmaine? Hi. Um, your 17-year-old daughter's here. What's mm -hmm. going on with her? She's out of control. She's um, sneaking out the house when I go to sleep. I wake up, it's three, no botany. When she come in, she's smelling like alcohol. All of her friends are girls that don't have a place to stay or young prostitutes. So you're saying that you're saying that you you really care about your daughter. Yes, I care about my But you're kind of fed up with her because of her behavior and she keeps sneaking out, she doesn't listen to you. That's right. When your 14-year-old daughter comes to you and says, "Hey, I'm pregnant." What 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 went through your mind? And when she told me that it was just a big shock because now I know that here is another life and I got to take care of the baby. I tried everything I could. I went so far as to call the police. She's running away from home. Right. As I know it's something you can do, I tried to get her put in a boot camp. And how many children do you have? I have eight. You have eight children. Mm -hmm. And then you also have Botany's daughter living That's with right. you. Is Botany a good mom? No. No. Tell She's me. not a mom at all. I got something to tell you. <laughs> And I've been holding it back for so long. What? I've been holding it back for so long. Mm. I try my best to be a mom, to but I feel like I can't because of you. I feel like I can't be the best mom to her because the way you mentally abuse me about how bad I am as a mother, and that doesn't help me at all. By me, she's almost two years Mama, old. But when she, you when don't, you don't think even of her. You do not do nothing for. Mama, I told you, you, you know think why? I want to raise a baby? Do you know why? Do you think I want to raise a baby? Do you know why? Huh? But do you really want to know you why? Take, when I let you take you with you, me where you take you her? You, you got to get caught in the call, loop. Mama, you, you call you get me and friend. snap on me every time I take out the house. Bring me my baby back. Bring me my baby back. I but can't even take that right corner without you telling me to bring me back. Do you know why? You know why? Because when I come, when I look up, somebody else has And what are they doing with
You supposed to have her. You don't pay attention to her. You don't pay attention to her. You don't pay okay. no attention to me. Okay, you don't Bonnie. give me nothing. Last I time don't. I had something, I, don't. I was six. I Last don't. time I had something, I, I was six. And I, I do the best I is, can for y'all, Bonnie. Mama, this I is keep a roof over your mama, head. That's as good I as try you to can do. You. Mama, yes, that's I what do you what do. I, that's I can, what you do. I do what but I can do. But I need more than that. You act like you don't yell at me all the time. But when I'm yelling at you, what am I yelling at you about? What am I yelling at you about when I'm yelling at you? Mama, about what? the same thing over, about what? Over, and what over is that? Again. And what is that? Yeah, she provides a roof over your head. She provides a meal to eat. She does this, and you say you need more. But you know what? If she's a woman raising eight children, I don't know. That sounds like she's doing pretty good. But watch her have the property to myself and see to what I need. Watch her have the property to myself and what I need. Prostitute yourself. Prostitute yourself. <laughs> that's that's not helping <laughs> baby none. <laughs> Botany. We material things. We, we we get them when we can get them. But love, you understand me? You know I love you. I know, you Mama, know but it. All I ask for you is to you show me it. more. I do, Bonnie. I that. do. You all know, I Mama, and Mama, all I you ask know. you to do, and all I ask you to do, <laughs> is go to school. <laughs> go to school. Mama, no, you I know. got you trying to lock me up now, cause I don't want that knock on the door, you know, or that phone call. That's the point it's getting to. You understand me? That's the point. I, I don't want that. And I prefer to see you in a boot camp or somewhere because then you won't be around those type of people. You, you, you'll realize that I do love you because you, your brain is so cloudy and with the things that you're doing, you, you just, you got it in your mind. I don't know what you're thinking. You know, when you're a teenager, life is not easy on any level. And especially when you get pregnant and now you have to become a mother and you have to grow up fast and you're out drinking. But I'm gonna tell you something, Botany. I have mothers come on this stage and they don't give a damn about their children. And they don't care what their children are doing. And honestly, if I was your mother, I'd be locking you up too. <laughs> and I'm not saying that I'm, I'm locking you up trying to punish you. I'd be like this woman. You know, I have a little daughter at home and I'll do anything I can to protect her. That's what I do, and I, I do wanna... what I can. But you know what? How much I can do as a 17 year old. I understand that, but Botany, one thing you need to do <laughs> is be in school, not going out drinking, not prostituting. <laughs> without yelling at her. She comes out, she tells you she's been prostituting for the past year. What do you want to tell her about that? Botany, I, 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 I want to break your neck. That's what I want to do. She said it without yelling. You know how dangerous that is. Yeah. You, you couldn't. I you do. couldn't. You couldn't know. If something happens to you, then what? Tell your mom what you want to do from this point forward. <laughs> from today. You're here because you want help? Tell Tell your mom what you want. Because I want help, man. I'm going to get it today. <laughs> I'm going to get it today, I promise. Okay. Even if that man's standing here, right, I'm going to do it. Mom, you know now that she's out doing this prostituting. You've known about the drugs and the drinking and everything else. Now you really got to be involved. And I think maybe let's give her a little bit. Instead of maybe yelling at her all the time, let's try to talk with her and let's guide her. Now, if she does, if she's not going to work with you and if she's not going to listen and go out drinking and everything, well, then you keep doing what you're doing and try to get her locked up. I agree with you. Okay. But here's the opportunity we're going to give you. We found a place in your hometown that's agreed to let you finish your education with a GD prep classes, parenting classes and groups, childcare with parenting time, life skills training, and a referral to a therapist, okay? All that for you, you get your ass back in school, you can start your life, you can make something of yourself, you can learn to be a good mother, but nobody can make you go to these classes, nobody can make you learn, nobody can make you sit in there and take the time to do these things. Only you, you can either pick the bottle filled with booze, the men in the car that are trying to pick you up, or you could actually pick a good life for yourself here.